All right, so it starts by saying express each as a single logarithm. So remember our properties from yesterday. If I'm adding, then I do what when I condense? Multiply. If I'm subtracting, divide. And if I'm, if I've got, if I'm condensing, if there's a number on the front, then it becomes what? The exponent, right? So for number one, I would take these two, combine them into one. This would be log base 6 of 9 times 24. And then it's said to simplify, right? So what is 9 times 24? What is it? 216. Okay. Is there something I can raise 6 to to get to 216? It's cute. And again, if we don't know, divide this by 6, I end up with 36, and then that breaks down again. So there's three sixes, which means that whole expression gets reduced to just three. Okay, two. Now we are subtracting, which means when I combine it, I divide. What's 108 divided by 4? Twenty-seven. Good. Is there something I can raise three to to get to twenty-seven? Three. Questions on either of those? Okay, number three. So this is now in one log, which means I can condense. I mean, I can expand it, okay, or simplify it any way I can. So what happens when I've got the exponent? It goes to the front. So this would be ten thousand log base 2 of 8. What is log base 2 of 8? 3. So this becomes 10,000 times 3, which is 30,000. Questions on that one? Okay, 4. So two ways to look at this. One is bring that to the front like we just did. So this becomes x minus 1 times log base 4 of 4. And log base 4 of 4 is what? 1. So x minus 1 times 1 is just x minus 1. The other thing was that shortcut we talked about where if the base and the large number were the same, then I can cancel out the log and just keep the exponent, which would be the x minus 1. So you can do it either way. Ian. So if the, um, if the, the base and the bigger number are the same thing, the x minus one Yep. Okay. So, I mean, think about, like, even just, like, going back to if I have log base 4 of 4, what's the exponent here? What is any number raised to when it's by itself? Yeah. To the first power, right? Which is the same thing as saying I would raise 4 to the first power to get to 4. So it applies straight across the board. All those different properties apply. All right, 5. Now I've got 10 log 125. And so if it says log, what is the base of that log? 10. So this is log, or sorry, 10 to the log base 10 of 125. And the same rule applies in the reverse order. If the base here is the same as the base on the log, I can cancel them out and keep the 125. The other option is to bring this into log form. So this would be log base 10 of x equals log 125. This is still log base 10. And then I'd end up with x being 125. So we're going to deal, that's a one-to-one -one property, and we're going to deal with it a little bit more the rest of the chapter. But it can be used. Okay, 6, and I think this one's a little bit trickier, okay? But give me one way I could break that down. What is 128? Is there something I can multiply 64 by to get to 128? Two. Two. So I can say that this is log base 64 of 64 times 2. Can I expand that? What happens when I expand in its multiplication? So this would be log base 64 of 64 plus log base 64 of 2. What is log base 64 of 64? 1. And then I can even go a step further. Again, it's a little trickier. 
But if I can get 2 to, some, to the power of something to get to 64, right? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 times 2 is 64. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos, which means that that's the sixth root of 2, okay? So I'm okay with this answer, but you can have kept going. I can say that this is 1 plus, and that would be 64 to the 1 sixth power, or 1 sixth. So again, as long as you can get here, you're good, but you can keep going. Just a little trickier. Okay, and then the last two, we need a calculator. So it said use the calculator to find each log to the nearest thousandth. How many decimal places is a thousandth? It's ten hundred thousandths. Good. Three. So for the first one, I would do log of 20 over log of 3. Which is 2.7268, which means 2.2, 2, or sorry, 2.727. And then log base 10 over log, or log of 10, log 1 half. So I can write that in the calculator as 1 half, or I could write it in the calculator as 0. 0.5. It's the same thing. And I get negative 3.3219, which rounds to 3.322. Questions on any of the warm up we're good? Okay. All right. When I combine these, I get log base 6 of 8 times 27, which becomes 216. And then 216 is 6 times 6 times 6, which is 3 sixes, which gives you 3. Number 5. What? Sorry. Good? Okay. Number 5 should have been 4. Again, when you add, you multiply, and then 3 to the 4th is 81. Number 6 should have been 6. Don't worry, I won't give you anything that large on the assignment tomorrow. Say that again. Um, 7 